Dolphins vs. Panthers Week 6. I usually say something like big game or huge game, but the, the Panthers haven't won a single game all year. There's no reason the Dolphins should lose this game. Um, but either way, getting into this preview, starting out with the injury reports, Connor Williams is out tomorrow, which really, really sucks. It's with that groin injury, which is what kept him out for that game in Buffalo. He must have re-aggravated it last week versus the Giants. So um, it'll be Liam Eikenberg getting the start tomorrow. So prayers up to Tua. Um, on the doubtful list, Nick Needham and Jeff Wilson Jr. are there. I'm surprised to see Jeff Wilson on that list. Um, McDaniel said er, multiple times this week that, you know, he should be ready to play for this game versus the Panthers, and now he's doubtful for tomorrow, which really sucks. Of course, Devon Achin's already out for the next four games on the IR list, so we could really use Jeff Wilson to have behind Raheem Mostert, but I guess it'll be Salvan Ahmed and I guess Chris Brooks as the top three running backs if Jeff Wilson Jr. can't go, which is what it's looking like. Nick Needham will probably be back next week, which is going to be a big addition to the secondary. Um, and then Alec Ingold, Rob Jones, and Jalen Phillips are questionable. Alec Ingold's not going to miss this game, so that that's that. <clears throat> but Jalen Phillips is a different story. We've been hearing good things out of practice, but will they just rest? You know, I don't want to say rest him because this is, you know, we're talking about an NFL game here, not some preseason game. Um, <clears throat> but we do have the Eagles next week, so if they decide to keep him out, I wouldn't hate it. But if he played, you know, if the Dolphins just end up taking like a big time lead, he's going to be the first one taken out because they're going to want him to stay healthy for that game next week. For the for the Panthers, very, very long list. Von Bell, Austin Corbett, Giovanni Ricci, Miles Sanders, Xavier Woods, and Chandler Zavala are all out. And then Derek Brown, Brian Burns, and Steven, Stefan, Sullivan, and Ian Thomas are all questionable for tomorrow. Um, some notable names on that list. Von Bell, Xavier Woods, both starting safeties out. So that help for Tyree Kill in the secondary is not going to be there. I mean, there's still going to be guys there, but not with a lot of talent. Miles Sanders is going to be out. If there's any reason the Panthers were to win this game, it probably would be because of Miles Sanders versus our rush defense, but he's out. So I think it'll be Chuba Hubbard as running back one tomorrow. Um, and then Derek Brown and Brian Burns are two studs on that defensive line. So if both of them are also out... The I mean, two is going to have all day in that pot. Well, maybe. I mean, we'll see with uh, Lee Meikenberg. But Brian Burns is a really, really solid player. So is Derek Brown. But, you know, even if they play, it shouldn't add much competition to it. Um, getting into these matchups for the game, I could. I honestly struggled to find some matchups. The first one I had was pretty easy. Bryce Young versus the Dolphins pressure. Um, and honestly, it's Bryce Young versus the Dolphins defense in general because they're going to be bringing pressure, I think, on Bryce Young. I'm going to get to that in the five things the Dolphins need to do to win this game. Um, but I want to see the Dolphins blitz and make Bryce Young uncomfortable. Uh, and even if they don't blitz with those front four guys with uh, Bradley Chubb, Christian Wilkins, Zach Sealer, and either Phillips or Van Ginkle, or when, whenever AVG's in the game, he's on top of things. Um but the, that front four should really get to Bryce Young, especially with a lot of their offensive line being out and not even good to begin with. So I want to see that. The next one I have is Raheem Mostert versus the Panthers rush defense. I want to say the Panthers rush defense is ranked 27th or 28th right now in the NFL. So I know they don't have Devon Nation. I know that Jeff Wilson Jr. is doubtful for this game. But Raheem Mostert, we forget what he's done. You know, week two versus the Patriots, I think he had 100-something yards and two touchdowns. Week one, he was really good versus the Chargers. Um, and then week four, he had, uh, sorry, week three, he had like four touchdowns. So um, we should be fine with Raheem Mostert as running back one. Uh, but getting into the five things the Dolphins need to do to win this game, always my favorite part of these previews. Number one, starting with the defense, is make, make Bryce Young extremely uncomfortable. I know I just said that before with the Dolphins pressure. I want to see the Dolphins blitz today. Now, um, Bryce Young is a really good, he, he's a good quarterback. Now he's young, he's still in his rookie season, so a lot of things are going to take time to develop, especially with, you know, it, with that whole Panther system where everyone's new on that team. Um, but, you know, take advantage of, of playing a rookie quarterback. Bryce Young is the only rookie quarterback that we're going to be playing this entire year, I believe, um, unless like, you know, unless a quarterback change is made. But like, you know, the only rookie starting quarterbacks right now are, uh, or sorry, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, and Anthony Richardson. We don't play the Colts or the Texans this year. Um, but man, take advantage of playing this rookie quarterback. Give him hell all day, right out of the gate, bring pressure, and he's gonna have some nice passes because that's that's what he's the number one pick for. Um, 
But, you know, the defense needs to show up, and that brings up the next one, forced turnovers. Bryce Young had two interceptions last week. I don't know the stats specifically, but I every single time I check his stat line for Sunday's games, I usually see him with an interception or two. So I want to see the Dolphins' defense come up with multiple turnovers tomorrow, whether that's through the air or, or through a fumble on the ground or a, you know, block, punt, block, you know, whatever it is. I want to see this Dolphins' defense and special teams force turnovers all day, um, if we don't have an interception tomorrow, that'd be pretty, pretty annoying. But whatever, just getting the win is all that matters. And I didn't even put it here, but that home field defense is very important. Um, you know, versus the Giants, it was there. It wasn't perfect, but they did. They stopped Daniel Jones. It wasn't too hard to stop him without Saquon Barkley. Um, and then versus the Broncos, we already knew what that whole thing was about. We won the game by 50 points. The defense didn't have to do that that much. Um, but continue this home field defense because the next home game is versus the Patriots, and that's going to be a big-time game after we play the Eagles in Philly. Number three, getting into the offense. Run the ball. I said before, the Panthers have the 28th-something rush defense in the NFL. Give Raheem most of the ball and let him cook. Um, you know, the two is going to be able to do whatever he wants tomorrow, most likely. But like I said before, no Devon A. Chain, no Jeff Wilson Jr. It's looking like. Um, it'll probably be Mostert, Ahmed, and Chris Brooks, the top three guys tomorrow, but that won't really matter. Let, let's just run the ball, run the ball down their throats. They won't be able to stop it. If Derek, if Derek Brown doesn't play, if Brian Burns doesn't play, there's no reason the Panthers should be able to stop our run. Number four, let's see Elite Tua tomorrow. We need Elite Tua back. Um, let him get into a groove before this Eagles game next week, because if he plays, I talked about it in the recap last week, if he plays like how he did versus the Giants, versus you know, the Eagles or the Chiefs or the Cowboys or the Niners, there's no way we're winning the game. Um, so we need to get the two back that we saw versus the Chargers versus, you know, the Patriots was an okay game um, versus the Broncos. And I mean, that that's that's really it. That's Tua hasn't been great since that Broncos game. Week four versus the Bills, he was all right. Week five versus the Giants, he, he actually had a worse game than he was in Buffalo. Um so let's get him into a groove and, you know, don't make stupid passes. I'm, I, I, know, I know Tua is not watching this video, but I don't want to see Tua make any stupid passes because, you know, you can't be m making those mistakes versus those elite teams like Philly and KC and all those teams. But um, number five is play a clean game. Let, let's just win this game cleanly. I don't want to see stupid flags. I don't want to see injuries or bad snaps or the uh, bad time management, although the time management has been really good this year so far. I don't even recall a delay of game so far this season, which is great to see, um, but just play clean game. Of course, getting the win is all that matters, but let's do it in a very convincing manner. Let's see Mike White out there for the whole entire fourth quarter. Just kill them the entire game. Um, uh, before I get into the predictions, like I said, just get the win, and trap game is the only thing I wanted to talk about. Of course, the Eagles game is next week. That's what I've been talking about for a while now. Um, Sunday night in Philadelphia a week from tomorrow, but let's just focus on what's what's coming tomorrow. But for my prediction for this game, I have the Dolphins winning 38-16. I'm giving the Panthers the benefit of the doubt, only losing this game by 22 points. It might be up to 30 to 40 points. Um, I really hope it is. Like I said, I want to see Mike White in there for the entire fourth quarter, but either way, J j just get the win tomorrow. That's all that matters, but do it in a very convincing manner. But either way, that'll wrap up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace.